Today, I'm making the perfect loaf of soft brown bread. This is gonna be good. Okay, so for my ingredients, I am working with two types of flour. Here, I have two cups of whole wheat flour, and I'm also working with one and a half cups of bread flour, or you could use all purpose. Here, I have one package of active dry yeast. I'm also using two tablespoons of cocoa powder, unsweetened. Here, I have molasses, I'll be using a quarter cup. I'm also going to be adding around two teaspoons of coffee. Actually, the typical recipe calls for espresso powder. I'm going with coffee. And I have a tablespoon of salt. Here, I'll be adding some hot water and two tablespoons of unsalted butter. And I failed to mention, I will also be adding two tablespoons of sugar. I just added it later and I realized I didn't film it. So go ahead and mix the flour and now add the cocoa powder. This is unsweetened cocoa powder. Give that a mix and just incorporate it with the flours. So this loaf of bread is a riff off of the Copycat Cheesecake Factory brown bread recipe. Just a little bit different. Here I'm adding the salt to one side of the mixture and to the opposite side of the mixture, you'll want to add the two tablespoons of sugar. I just thought I was filming it and I didn't. Here I've emptied the contents of the active dry yeast and I'm mixing it on the side where the sugar was placed. And now I'm going to add a quarter cup of molasses. Sometimes I add a little extra, but since I have the sugar in here, I'm going with a quarter cup. Now I'm going to sprinkle in the coffee. The instant coffee is what I'm using. It's about two teaspoons. And like I said, espresso powder if you have it. And I like to just use chopsticks. You could use a Dutch whisk and I'm adding my hot water until everything comes together. In all, it's about a cup and a quarter to a cup and a half of hot water. And here I'm adding the butter. It's two tablespoons of unsalted butter going in and it'll sort of start to melt. I'm gonna add some of the hot water into this bowl to get residual butter out. And at this point, you'll just want to mix completely until everything comes together and the dough is tender and moist. Not overly wet though. So in a separate bowl, I'm gonna add around a tablespoon of cooking oil. I opted for avocado oil, and I'm going to add all of my mixed dough right into this oiled bowl. Here I'm using my rice cooker paddle. This really helps with like sticky doughs. You could use that or a wooden spoon works. And right into this oiled bowl, I'm gonna coat the exterior with cooking oil. And now I'm going to loosely cover it with cling film and I'm going to let it proof until double in size in a non-drafty warm place. I like to use my oven with the oven light on and as you can see it definitely has proofed and doubled in size. So onto my counter here and I'm going to remove the cling film and then I'm just going to punch down the dough. By the way I am working with clean hands. Okay, so I'm going to scrape it from the sides of the bowl and because it was oiled, it really makes life easy. And I'm going to lightly dust my work surface with flour. And now it's time to knead. People can definitely use their stand mixers for this, but I'm just a creature of habit and I love to knead dough by hand. So I'm gonna take my time with this. It's like 10 minutes or so. So once it kind of springs back and it's smooth, it's still tender, but it is smoother on the exterior here. I'm going to place it in a nine by five bread pan. This is or a bread loaf pan. And you kind of want to shape the dough into a log, kind of like the same length of the, the pan here. And I lined my loaf pan with parchment paper. It just makes life a lot easier when you go to remove the loaf later after it bakes. So just sort of fill the loaf pan and let that proof until double in size, just like this. And I'm so excited because this bread, I actually eyeball sometimes when I make this bread because I make it a lot, but I will definitely put measurements and ingredients in the description below. So I'm going to carefully remove the cling film and this just looks great. It's not even baked yet. So here I have about two tablespoons of heavy whipping cream and I'm going to brush the top of the loaf 
with that and then sprinkle quick oats on top. So here with my little pastry brush, this is a silicone pastry brush, I'm just going to brush the top gently. By the way, this is a good time to preheat your oven. I'm going to be baking this loaf of bread at 375 degrees Fahrenheit for somewhere between 25 to 30 minutes or until it's done. Now for the quick oats. I'm going to just sprinkle the top lightly, sort of down the center, and maybe a little on the sides. This really does look like that brown bread from the Cheesecake Factory, but I just like to use this recipe as a loaf. But you definitely can divide this dough into about two to three baguette size loaves to get that delicious bread you get from Cheesecake Factory. It's really good. Okay, so this is going into my oven. It has been close to 30 minutes and this is done. Now, oven temperatures and calibrations do vary, so you just wanna make sure your loaf is done in the center. So what I'm going to do is carefully remove it from the loaf pan, it's still hot, but these little parchment paper flaps really help. And I'm just going to let this cool completely. In the meantime, I am going to make a honey cinnamon butter. So here I have one stick of softened butter in a bowl and I am going to whip this or whisk it until everything is just kind of smooth and creamy. That makes it a lot easier to mix in the ingredients. Here I'm gonna shake in, uh, I'm eyeballing cinnamon. It really is to your taste. Start with an eighth of a teaspoon, work your way up. And now I'm going to add a pinch of salt. Again, eighth of a teaspoon and work your way up. I'm just eyeballing. And now I'm gonna add two to three tablespoons of honey. And I'm running out of honey here, so whatever's left in this container is going into this softened butter. And this is going to be an easy honey cinnamon butter that I'm going to slather on this brown bread. It's so good. My husband loves to eat this with coffee. So that's kind of what we're doing today. Okay, so give it a good mix and it's done. All right, so now it's time to slice into this bread and I can't tell you my kitchen every time I bake a loaf of bread it just smells like a bakery it's so good and like I said earlier you could skip the loaf and make two to three baguettes so I hope you give this recipe a try I hope you like it and thanks for watching